guys, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are continuing with my Midheaven series. This is not about the Gemini sun sign. So if you were born in May or June and you're here because you want to hear about Gemini, this is not necessarily for you. You need to look at my information. I do have a couple links to different sites to be able to find your Midheaven more easily. It is the cusp of your 10th house. So there's lines in your chart and the 10th house cusp is your mid heaven line. I want to start with the IC as I've been doing. I have said before that me and my sister and my brother, we all have Gemini ICs and we have Sagittarius MCs, Sagittarius mid heavens. Now my sister Clara, who I will talk about more in this video is the opposite. Now, there are four biological children that my parents had. There are two adopted ones. My two adopted sisters have very different charts altogether. They were adopted as older children, and so that's why their IC is very different from ours. But if you compare the biological children, it makes a lot of sense that they would be almost oppositioned because where we all had the Gemini IC, where it was a lot of communication, a lot of talking, a lot of bouncing off things, your Sagittarius IC, like my sister's, causes you to feel a little bit left out of the family. There's a closeness to the Cancer IC, which belongs in the fourth house, and the Gemini IC is right next to that. It's still got that same closeness of family. Now, Sagittarius is the opposite. It's on the other side, and Sagittarius wants to run away. Sagittarius is the big dreamer, the big schemer, the competitive person. And so when it's your point, your angle of the family, you want to run away from the family because you constantly feel left out. It's definitely something that can be put on the middle child or even just the lost child. You have this Sagittarius I see. And I'm not saying that we left my beautiful sister out of everything. <laughs> But this is the way that she was made to feel. With the Sagittarius IC, she had very different dreams than all of us with our Gemini IC. The Sagittarius IC is a dreamer, as I said. A runaway, wants to be anywhere but here. So on the same token of the Sagittarius IC feeling left out, everyone kind of already imprints that on them, that they want to be left out, or maybe in some weird way, they just don't fit. What you might have felt growing up in your family life with Sagittarius IC is that you did not fit. You were the puzzle piece that was wrong in your family, that maybe you were adopted. Maybe you should have been somewhere else. Some other family would have been better to you and would have been better for you and it would have allowed you to thrive the way the way you were meant to thrive. And you might have some resentment for that. Sagittarius I see is a little bit more in its detriment because it is next to Capricorn. So at the same time, a lot of your houses might be flipped. They might be the opposite, just like if you had a Capricorn I see. So you will have more turmoil in your chart of trying to figure yourself out. Because of that Sagittarius I see being on the angle, your first thought and thing is to run away, be anywhere but here. A lot, when you grow up, a lot of you do go away or you maybe get married very young, you might want to travel, though you might be afraid to travel. You might travel more in your mind. You might marry somebody who's traveled a lot, or you might latch on to a family that has the ability to travel that takes you with them, because a lot more of the I see is in your own mind, and it's what you want, but it's not necessarily what you're capable of doing, and so you might actually feel like you're hanger on or <laughs> with that traveling, and if you don't have anybody to help you with that, you may never do it yourself, but you always want to anywhere but here mentality. They want to be away. They want some sort of freedom from their family and they've always wanted it. And they normally have better relationships with their family members when they live farther away from them. And then they almost realize, okay, I get it. But I was meant for this family, but the only way I can handle this family <laughs> is if they're far away from me and I can call them on the phone. I can take them in little bits. 
as your Sagittarius IC is at the bottom. Now we're going to go to the Midheaven, which is what this video is about. And so your Midheaven is your public persona, your, your career life, what you want to give off to the world. And as I said before, like around six years old is when you do psychologically, psychiatristly <laughs> develop your ego conscious. And when you develop your ego conscious, that's who you believe that you are in this world. So it's who you come out and you're like, I belong here. This is me. I'm here. This is what I want people to see of me. This is how I'm going to live. And this is what I want them to see. It's even your internet persona. So when you're on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, this is what you want to do. And what you want to do is you want to Gemini the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> Gemini is communication. Geminis are great talkers. Where you might have felt that nobody cared to listen to you in your home, you now have a voice and you want everybody to hear it. It's just going to come out naturally. And people that you work with are going to believe that you're confident, that you might be a little bit quirky, that you're a little bit different, but you're going to talk. If you've been following these videos, you might have noticed that every time I say Capricorn is somewhere in a house, it means that that house has trouble. Now, Gemini is the same thing, but it's not trouble. It's bipolar disorder. <laughs> And we all have it. If it's got Gemini in it, that house might, it's going to have a lot of energy. And it's got so much energy, it might seem a little bit bipolar. Now, if it's your midheaven, which is a very important angle, you might, you might feel a little bipolar in your career. You might have a lot of different jobs. You might do one thing, and then all of a sudden you switch your mind and you want to do something else. You might be so full of this information that you truly, madly, deeply believe in, and then you get it out and you don't believe in it anymore. And you just go on. And people might think that you don't know what you're talking about, but you do. You need to verbally process it. And when you verbally process it, you do it on a public forum because the 10th house, the Midheaven, is your public forum. I don't know, some of you follow Penny Astrology. Penny is a very good friend of mine and she has the Gemini Midheaven. And in order for her to get out anything, she needs to talk it through and on a public forum. So I really love this about her. I don't think she's going to get that mad. But she's got videos, like all different kinds of videos on her channel. It's just, now she's got astrology videos, but before she had like vlog videos and life videos and she does different things and she might talk about different things because that's what Gemini wants to do. It gets out the information in different ways and different mediums. It's oftentimes very creative. Every single person that met me and that's met my sister instantly believes that Clara is more creative than I am. And they believe she's more precise, she's more clean, she's more streamlined, and she's not crazy, and she knows what she's talking about and what she wants. Because when they view us, they view me and my Sagittarius Midheaven as aloof, and they view Clara as knowing what she wants, going to get it, being able to do things, dabbling in everything, and probably really good at everything. And you know what? These things are true of her. It's a lot of energy in Gemini, a lot of energy in Mercury on your midheaven. And because Gemini is all the good traits of Mercury and, you know, Virgo is the bad traits of Mercury, which I'll get into later, <laughs> uh, Gemini wants to express them. The healthiest way for a Gemini Midheaven to get those things off their chest that, that want to just run away at all times and not knowing how to run away, grab their Sagittarius IC by the balls, bring it up to their Midheaven, and talk that shit out. I don't mind Gemini Midheavens tweeting their issues because that's what's going to make them feel better. Dude, if anybody tells you that that's bad for you to get your information out into the world like that, don't listen to them. Not everybody is made the same because your words are your life and they just happen to be in the 10th house. So you might feel like you have to hold yourself back and suppress yourself, but you don't. There's nothing wrong with your chart to have Gemini in the midheaven. Yes, you don't want to go tell the entire world, but if you feel like you have something that you need to say and you want to write a Facebook post about it and you have all your friends that truly care about you, Write the Facebook post. Do it, but make it public. Get it out that way. It will feel a lot better for you. It won't feel as good as if you do it privately because it's not where Gemini is. That's not what wants to happen. As long as you're not using names or shaming people 
and you're making sure that everyone knows that you are expressing your own personal opinions and that if they don't like it, they don't have to be your friend. I just don't see why suppressing your personality to fit the mold of some secret society that we live in is healthy. Nobody wants to see a million and a half kind of cryptic, depressing posts. That is why you, to the point, because that's what you are. Because we do spend a lot of time giving people our public persona, it does become a lot of what your purpose is. And if it is Gemini, your purpose is to communicate, to learn the facts and to tell people, to work and to enjoy the company that you keep, to take away the people that drag you down, to actually really try to strive to enjoy conversation with all kinds of people. There's a lot of things that happen when you have a Sagittarius IC. You definitely feel like you just weren't right. And you are, <laughs> you are okay. You, and you need to be able to communicate your ideas and your thoughts, the things that you felt that nobody gave a shit about. People do give a shit about them. And you're supposed to tell people them. So don't suppress your personality. Don't suppress that midheaven. Don't try not to speak. You are supposed to speak. You are supposed to tell people what's going on. You're not supposed to give a fuck what they think. Because you're just not. And you're funny. And you know how to make people laugh. And when you're at a job, people are going to like you. And they're going to think that you know your business because you do. Because you're quick. Because you can pick up anything. And you're supposed to communicate. And whether or not that means you got to be a writer or maybe a public speaker or a Starbucks barista that really engages in people every day and wants to know how people are and really makes great friendships with people that they meet and they encounter. Even if that means that you have more friends on the internet than you do in real life. Maybe your family will never want to know what you have to say. That could be. Sometimes I've seen this that they do and sometimes seen that they don't. Find people that want to listen. There's a reason you have that anywhere but here mentality that you feel like you want to run away all the time. That maybe you need to hold on to things that are yours and not to be separated from them because you're afraid that someone might take them from you. And know who wants to listen to you and keep your friends close and say fuck you to your enemies. You don't have to be nice to them. You're going to be questioning everything all the time and you're going to be wondering if what you're doing is right and you just have to go for it. You just have to do it. And if someone doesn't like it, then they don't like it and you don't have to worry about that. You know a lot of shit and you want to talk about it. So just do it. <laughs> you're a problem solver and you enjoy being the problem solver and really talking to people and really knowing and fixing what's going on with them without your quick knowledge without your want to search for the truth and to make truth happen and to really communicate. You know, we wouldn't have Steve Jobs, Gemini Midheaven. He wanted people to be able to communicate faster because that's what he wanted. And so he just thought of these ways to make technology for the consumer, which is definitely a Gemini Midheaven thing. Your His career was built on this communication for everybody to really relate to people on a face-to-face -face fucking FaceTime basis because Gemini is close personal relationships and you might make those at work, but you want them to be closer because you might always be traveling in your mind. But when it comes to like your stage and what you want to talk to, you want to help people become closer together because you didn't always feel that closeness to everybody else. And so the internet age for a Gemini midheaven is like perfect. It's where you can get that closeness to somebody where you lacked it growing up. That is your Gemini Midheaven. Say bye, Apollo. Bye, Apollo.